so you know when we're bringing content to you day after day and also when you watch this video from the beginning to the end go ahead and click that thumbs up if you like this video and also be so kind as to leave us a comment in the comment section all right guys so today we are going to turkey we're going to turkey y'all who's been to turkey before not me so i'm gonna take a little short vacation to turkey okay and i'm gonna bring y'all along with me so yeah what we're doing today is we're doing a snack review and it is turkish munchies i guess that's turkey y'all i don't know but yeah it's turkish munchies so I kind of started trying to open it, but didn't open it in its entirety. So I'm going to open it now. Yep, it says made in Turkey. So yeah, y'all, we're in Turkey. Just put your imagination shades on, okay? Put your imagination shades on and we're in Turkey, okay? Trying their snacks. This is what the box looks like, guys. And it's a small box, so it doesn't seem like it's much in here. But I think there are lots of snacks. And you can go to www.turkishmunchies.com, I guess, to get these. But I ordered these from Amazon. Okay. So, I have opened the box. And the first thing that I see is like their little pamphlet. I guess that talks about everything. Let's see. It says Turkish munchies. Let's see. Ooh, they have a lot of snacks, but I know they don't have all these snacks in this little itty bitty box. But let's see. So I'm just gonna, this is the pamphlet, y'all. This is, I guess, well, this looks like it's English, but this is definitely not English on the back because I can't read that. But yeah, so that's the pamphlet of all the snacks. Then it has another little pamphlet in here that says important notes. How to read individual expiration dates on the product. Okay, we know how to do that. The actual content may vary. Okay. Um, so basically, this is just about your shipping. If you're not happy, if you receive a damaged product or whatever the case may be, how you can return it to them. So they have other Turkish munchies boxes. They have a maxi Turkish munchies. They have a midi Turkish munchies. And then they have a mini one. And then they have a traditional. So which one did we get? It just says Turkish munchies. So this must be the 
midi. Let's see what we got. Oh, y'all. Let's look. This is the box, what it looks like inside so far. So they have them well packed in here. I'm just amazed, y'all. So that's why I keep looking. So, okay, let's get into trying these snacks. So the first one says Costco, Kaji Helva. I don't know, y'all. At first, when I saw the packaging, I thought Cheez Its. I thought Cheez Its. Let's see if I can find it on the list. Okay, I found it. Kajit Heva is maybe the most fundamental piece of snack in Turkey. It was invented in the 1400s over 600 years ago in Turkey. It means paper Heva wafer and it is widely consumed in Turkey. If you have it plain, you will most probably find it stale and dry. Oh God. It is invented to sandwich ice cream. Go ahead and cut it in half. Stack the ice cream on the lower layer and sandwich the other half on top of it. So basically they're saying what I have here is probably going to taste, taste stale to me unless I combine it with something else. And they suggest like ice cream, doing like an ice cream sandwich. Using two of these and putting the ice cream in the middle. But let's get into it. Let's go ahead and open it and see what it looks like. It's very light. So, let me see. I'm a smeller, y'all, so I got to smell it first. But first, before I smell it, I'm going to show it to you. That's what it looks like. It looks like a windmill cookie. Or wafer. It smells good. It smells like the wafer. So let's try it. Hmm. Not bad. And it's not stale, y'all. It's not stale tasting. Mmm. Yeah. Okay, this is not bad. It is dry. It is. But it's not bad. It tastes like those wafer crackers. The vanilla wafer crackers. That's exactly what it tastes like. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's good. The first one was pretty good. All right. So that's the Costco Kajit Helpum. Y'all, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. So I'm going to do the best that I can, okay? Kajit Helva, that's the first one. And it's on here, okay? So we'll put that one to the side. I'm going to drink something, y'all, because that was dry. Okay. Oh, God. So the next one is, it says, Pizza Cracker. Pizza cracker. So let's find that one in the brochure. So it says not any pizza, but pizza was first introduced to the Turkish market in early 90s and it was a failure. Oh my. Turkish people did not like it and almost all pizza restaurants were closed within a few years. This was until Ninja Turtles started to screen on TVs. All of a sudden, Turkish mothers ended up with their children pestering and nagging to have pizza. This gave an opportunity to pizza producers to rise from their ashes. Huh. So this little snack here, it says pizza cracker. So let's see y'all. 
Of course, I'm going to smell it first. Does it have a smell? But this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Very crunchy. Hmm. It tastes like pizza crust. That's what these taste like. They're good. I like them. It tastes like pizza crust. Yeah. Oh yeah, y'all. A pizza crackers. Okay. That's two down. Win, 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 win. Okay, y'all. The next one. I'm not so sure. If it's a, I guess it's a cookie. Or something, I don't know. But this is it. And I cannot dare pronounce that name. Sin Portico Sauce Biscuve. Let's find it on here. Okay, y'all, bear with me. Okay, I see it. Okay, so this snack here that looks like a pie to me is called Sin, C-I-N. And it says the classic one, Sin means gin in English. What? Curious about its history. Many Turkish people have a superstition that the word Sin calls for bad souls and they never use the word sin in their daily lives. They instead call it three letter entities. Believe it or not, some supermarkets sell Eddie Sin not as Eddie Sin but a three letter entity. Yes, when you buy it in Turkey you may see your slip that you buy three letter entity and not Eddie Sin. Hmm. So, it's in the, it's a cookie, I think. It has the trimming of a pie. But, let's see. And then it has like the little confetti. I'm trying to get the smell, y'all. This is what it looks like. It has like chocolate. It smells like chocolate, chocolate confetti. It's a little creamy. It doesn't taste bad. If you guys have ever had those windmill cookies, that's what this part tastes like. But this right here is that confetti, and it tastes like chocolate. So that's what it looks like. It's okay, not bad. Mm. 
it's chewy and it looks like it's got some kind of mm, something in there like a glaze on top I don't know if y'all can see it hanging a little bit it's like a syrup or something and it makes sense to put that on the bottom layer therefore you put your sprinkles or confetti on top and it holds on there but yeah that wasn't bad either y'all all right guys it's a little tangy though after taste so that's the third one okay we're doing good so far so the next one it says brownie gold so no brainer this one is a brownie probably but let's see because we can be highly mistaken it says the classic one with plain and cherry infused goodness options the wet texture and intense chocolate flavor distinguishes this cake from others turkish people love to use this one as a birthday cake a rather small one but it works to get you older <laughs> its name is not unique but the taste is so they're saying that the taste is unique so let's see And it's got some pink or strawberry or something in it. Oh, let's see. Yeah, it's definitely like a cupcake. Yeah. I'm amazed about how tiny this is. All these snacks. Can y'all see that? You can definitely smell the chocolate. Mm. You can definitely smell the chocolate. But I can't tell if anything is in the middle. No. Yeah. It's got something. Some type of red filling in the middle. You don't see it. You just taste it. Y'all, that's a flop. I don't like that one, y'all. I don't like the taste. It's definitely a cupcake. I don't like that taste, y'all. So I'm putting this one back in. So I can't do the, the brownie gold. Okay. Y'all don't like that. Okay. Next. <laughs> it says Papios. Papios? Is this like that popping candy that you put in your mouth and it starts popping? Is that what this is? Let's see. It says Papios. Let me find it on here. Okay, as soon as touching your mouth, these candy does not stand your energy and starts to explode one by one. First start with a small amount of candy until you feel comfortable with the tickling in your mouth. Pop rocks. That's what it's called back in the day, pop rocks. So I wonder if this anything close to that. Okay, let's see. And it says popping chocolate, so the flavor must be chocolate. Y'all, these snacks are not easy to get into. Oh my God, can I put it in my hand so y'all can see it? Look at it. Can y'all see that?
and doesn't taste bad. And it is doing the popping thing in my mouth. So it's just like that pop rock candy, if I'm saying it right. I'm going to come closer to the camera so y'all can see. Oh, yeah, it's popping. It's popping. Y'all see? Focus. Yeah, it's still popping in my mouth. And I ate just one little one. It says start small. So, yeah, that's what it looks like, y'all. So that's the pop rock candy. That's why it's called popping. Okay. So that one wasn't too bad. The taste wasn't bad either. So we're going to put these poppyos back in here. Okay. Okay, one out of five is not bad so far. Okay. Then, cubic crackers, cubic crackers, it says the legacy item, cubic cracker crocs, aka stick crackers is the most basic snack ever produced in the snack world. It is all about crackers with salt. It has been around for some 50 years in Turkey still loved and craved for so this is a popular snack in turkey and it is the simplest snack they say so this reminds me of pretzel sticks and it smells like pretzels y'all so this is what it looks like and i can see salt on it And this is exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like a pretzel. Pretzel stick. Mm. It's good. And it's not that salty, y'all. It's really not that salty. Yeah. Cubic crackers. That was good. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Badolu, Badolu, Eddie Badolu. I don't know, y'all. Please forgive me for the pronunciation because I know it's not correct. I'm just trying. It looks like it's got peanuts in it, which I can't eat. But we'll see. Let me find it on my list. It says, maybe the youngest snack member of this box. Bidolu, which translates as filled to the fullest, is the innovative efforts of the Turkish snacks industry. It comes with variety of flavors, including chocolate and peanut flavors. The crispy wafer on the outside balances the creamy inside and creates a harmony in your mouth. We die for it. Hope you like it. So that's what it is. I'm not going to be able to eat this one, y'all. Because it's got the peanuts in it. But I can show you guys it so you can see what it looks like. That's what it looks like. And it has the chocolate filling in the middle. And you can see the peanuts on the edge. Yeah, it smells like chocolate and peanut butter. So I can't try that one, y'all, because it's got peanuts in it. Sorry, 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 sorry. And I can't say this one was bad or good because I didn't taste it. Okay. Now I have another one. This one looks like it's going to be good. I don't know. 
Hospice, Hospice. It's a cocoa wafer with coconut cream. Hmm. Let's see about this one. Okay. A new hype in Turkish snack market. Eddie Hospice wafer series have been a huge hit in the market. Now served with over 10 different flavors. It is a proven success. Unlike other wafer snacks, its cream is richer and moist. The word hostbees is a Turkish phrase rather than a word meaning to have a warm and friendly talk with beloved ones. As the name suggests, you should have it with your beloved ones, not with a cup of coffee or milk. So it says don't have this with coffee or milk. Have it with one of your loved ones. Okay? So let's open it. Let's get into it to see what it looks like. I'm going to get in it sometime today, y'all. Ooh, I should get some scissors. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. I see this here munchy snack. It has a lot of wafers in it. Ooh. Oh, okay. So this is the wafers. They're falling apart. This is the wafers. Mmm. It smells so good. It smells just like coconut, y'all. Mmm, look at it. Mm-hmm. It's good. Tastes like coconut. Tastes like coconut. Mm-hmm. It's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And good. And the cream filling in the middle, that is the coconut flavor. And good. Wow, I am so surprised how I am liking these snacks. Because I am very picky. I'm a very picky eater, as y'all already know. But um yeah. It's good. I can get full off of these snacks. Let me take a sip, y'all. I'm a lemonade. Okay. Here we go. We have some more crackers. It says crispy cubic cracker. Let's see. <clears throat> okay. This can come in, this can come in spicy or non-spicy. Let's see. Let's see what this one is about. You get either or both of these options, hot and or spicy. The herby one is covered with 10 different herbs. As the name suggests, this snack claims to be crispy. If you're not feeling like you can handle more sweet snacks in the box, this will help you to balance the taste and regain your strength to destroy more sweet snacks in the box. Hmm. I see the herbs on the outside, so let's open it and see what we got. This is interesting, y'all. I hope y'all are enjoying this. This is the first time me doing a video like this, and I hope you guys are enjoying it and you're not bored. Okay, this is what it looks like. It looks like those pretzel sticks again. And it does smell <laughs> Sorry y'all, I'm back. My camera died. Okay, so yeah, these look like the pretzel sticks, but they don't have salt on them. But it does smell like it has like parsley on it. 
possibly a little bit of garlic. Yeah. I can taste the herbs, the garlic taste, and the parsley. Yeah. Not too bad. Yeah. This one is more, more this one here is more of like a healthy snack. Okay. Mm, yeah. When you eat those, if you're just eating these, you're going to have to brush your teeth before you go and talk to somebody. Because it's strong. Okay. So our next one, <laughs> it says nine cat tat. <laughs> nine cat tat. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That's some herbs, y'all. <laughs> Bless me. Y'all, it looks like banana. Let's see what this one says. The cat tat. Croissant-ish. Croissant-ish bakery in a Turkish style filled with goodness inside. This one comes with different shapes and sizes. It has different flavors other than chocolate. These are strawberry and sesame seed flavors. You can call it deliciousness in every level as well. Call it in Turkish. Cat, cat, tat. Some find it tasty, some find it stale. A controversial yet success proven snack with a long standing record of being around for decades in Turkey. So let's try this cat, cat, tat. The names are very, very unique, y'all. And this is probably going to remind me of a vanilla wafer. But it shows a picture of a banana. So. I can't pick up the smell, y'all. It smells sweet. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. I don't like that, y'all. When they like banana, then I don't eat banana. Ugh. Mm -mm. I don't like this one, y'all. Mm -mm. It tastes like I'm eating an actual banana. Mm -mm. No, y'all don't like that. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. Sorry, 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 guys. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Can y'all imagine all of these snacks that are coming out of this little box? Hmm. Okay. Cocomel potty. Cocomel potty. Let's see what this is about. Oh, y'all, that taste is in my mouth. Mm. <sighs> okay. This pop tea is a fluffy marshmallow. It is small and convenient, mostly consumed in two bites. It comes in different colors, but mostly with identical taste. Do not have it have it in one go. Appreciate the snack and multiple bites to extend the experience. So basically they're saying when you eat this, don't because it's, if you can see it, because it's just one ball, don't just put the whole ball in your mouth. Take several bites to be able to actually taste it. So let's see. This is what it looks like, y'all. And I'm, I'm assuming that this part of it is the marshmallow. So let's see, y'all. I'm skeptical about this one. It smells like 
strawberry or cherry or something. Yeah, it's definitely a marshmallow look. It's definitely a marshmallow. That's what the inside looks like. Almost tastes like a like the moon, a moon pie texture. A moon pie? Yeah. Yeah. Mm, mm. I'm on the fence about that one, y'all. On the fence about it. And then, oh God. XC Yuz. Okay, if we translate its name, we will have spoiled the surprise. Just go ahead and try one. P.S. A surprise awaits you for the first 10 seconds as soon as started chewing. What? You can't tell me I got to bite into it to get the surprise? So what do y'all think? Do y'all think this is going to be sour? Hmm. And then there's another one in here too. So let's see y'all. Oh my God. I think it's going to be sour from the looks of it. Y'all know I'm a smeller. I like to smell. Okay. Just by tasting it, it's not sour. Mmm. That one get you right off. Mm -mm. Oh, Jesus. Them some sour balls, y'all. That's exactly what they are. Sour balls. Okay, I can't do those. I can't do those. But, yeah, y'all. Turkish munchies. I don't know if anyone has done this review on Turkish munchies before. But, overall, out of the whole snack, snack pack here that I got... In this little box, they have some really good snacks in here. So, I'm not disappointed that I purchased it. I'm not disappointed. But some of them, nope, 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 nope. Definitely those, they're sour ball things. And I just don't, mm, I don't, mm -mm, I don't really like this one. So, yeah. So, there were a lot of good ones in here that I like. Like this pizza cracker. I like it. So I'll probably finish eating those. And I like it. So the ones that I don't like that I know I'm not going to eat. I'm just going to toss them in the trash. But the ones I like. That I know I'm going to eat. And then I'm going to put them back in the box. This one I can't eat because of the peanuts. And then the Pop Rocks were okay. And then my so-called windmill cookie is okay. But the rest of that stuff, I'm going to toss it, y'all. But I got my money's worth because it was just, what, three, maybe four? Yeah, four out of them that I didn't like. And one of them I couldn't taste because of the 
the peanuts. So yeah, y'all. So again, I hope you guys liked my Turkish munchies. I hope y'all enjoyed the trip and the information that I shared with you guys about the Turkish munchies. So yeah, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed it. Um, if you enjoyed it, if you know anything about these Turkish munchies, go ahead and leave me a comment down in the comment section. And don't forget, if you're new here, go ahead and join the fam. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Turn it from red to gray. And also click that notification bell that says all. So you know when we're going to Turkey or if we're going to Florida, if we're going to Mexico, if we're going to Vegas, if we're going to California, or if we're going to Texas. You never know. So make sure you turn that notification bell on so you will know you'll get it firsthand. All right, guys. I enjoyed doing this video for you guys, and I hope you guys liked it. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye. Life.